The time may have come for China to confront a too big to fail moment. In a letter to local government officials, China Evergrande, the country's number two and most indebted property developer, says it needs government approval for reverse mergers planned soon. Otherwise, it could face up to $21 billion in repayments to investors and a potential cash crunch. Evergrande says the letter is fake, but the questions in it regarding systemic risk may be real for both investors and Beijing. According to a letter whose authenticity was verified by related sources, Evergrande asked officials from its home province of Guangdong to help push through a so-called backlisting plan. It would allow subsidiary Hongda to list in China by combining with a state developer that's already public traded in Shenzhen. The plan has been sitting around for four years, and if it doesn't get approved by January 2021, a group of investors could demand payback of some 144 billion yuan, all of Evergrande's cash as of end of June. The consequences laid out by Evergrande in the letter suggest it could hit dozens of Chinese lenders, including Agricultural Bank of China, and it could affect 3 million jobs. The letter suggests a private sense of concern that's rarely displayed in public. Investors sold off the stock on the news. S&P Global downgraded its outlook on the credit rating from stable to negative. Two of Evergrande's bonds were suspended for trading on Friday. It is possible that the fallout is being exaggerated just to put pressure on authorities to help Evergrande get through the plan. But at the same time, Evergrande is trying to raise cash on multiple fronts. And Evergrande's backers have a legitimate claim on a large sum. All of that could combine to force a reckoning soon.